guys. I mean, I, I think I've called Ness Chris once because of oh, PK Chris. Oh, you called Chris Ness once? No, no, I called Ness Chris once because PK Chris. Uh, I'm just like, ah, yes, of course, Chris. And, like, and no. Yoshi's last name is Suarez? Yeah, the, Yoshi's last name is Suarez. Yoshi Suarez? Yo, okay. she's, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at that. Wow. Final destination. Hello. Good stage. Good stage. No platforms. Complete free for all. Let's go. We Absolutely. Have, right now, both teams kind of on the same kind of scale where we have one player both with like a 50% deficit according to our teammate. But at the moment, we have. Oh, oh what? Oh, he? oh he's okay. good. He's good. Ooh, he that's how saved. doubles is played right there. Joe Pone instantly saving. Um, Joe Pone. Yeah, Danny Man was actually going to die right there had he not been saved by Joe Pone. And that's a great time to know when your teammate needs help and you have to be the hero and make sure that your opponent, your team doesn't die at like 70%. Yeah, and honestly, when you're a big boy character like DK and you're going against um, Ness, and, <laughs> Ness and Suarez, Ness and Yoshi, you're gonna be like a, a, a big punching bag. Yeah, but right now, if, 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 during these last few games with Dan the Man being DK, he has been the one kind of g being a little bit away from uh, the scene, while Joe Pone is the one doing most of the damage against his opponents. And then Dan the Man kind of, kind of comes in with these dares and these fares that are just hitting his opponents and just killing them at like 60 or 70. And it's completely uh, devastating for his uh, for the blue team. Yeah, and honestly, I love how uh, Joe Pone actually jumped in to um, save um, Dan. Um, especially because PK Chris has the yo-yo that goes off stage on that ledge, and that's such a hard move for DK to go against. Um, but Joe Pone, you know, doubles here, they're all going good. And they're doing really well. Suarez keeping on to that, la that third stock of his and, and, as like a kind of like a stock holder, just in case PK Chris might need to do a restock at some point. Oh. Taking out, taking out Dana Man's well. second stock with that spike. Oh my God. Yeah, and this honestly, you don't want to be the bunching bag of the team right now. You especially because, like, DK is taking up these stocks, taking up all these stocks. And if, like, he dies early, Joe Pone's going to play with only two stocks to his name. Yeah, and Joe Pone against uh, both PK, Chris, and Suarez is just not going to be a very fun time if he's left by himself. And if if they if uh, Blue Team keeps bullying DK, because they're completely getting up on him. That's doubles. That's doubles for you. Once you find out who the threat is, which in this case might be Dan the Man's spikes and his dares. So look right there. Oh, Using that, wow. that, that, that uh, damage to just destroy his opponents off the ledge. And they couldn't even tech it to come back. He is the threat at the moment, and Blue Team knows that. And if the Blue Team is able to get, or Yellow Team is able to take out PK Chris's second stock and Suarez's second stock, they can easily bring this back. Yeah, now we see Jopon really trying to take Chris's stock. I mean, when you're at 170, you really want your characters out, especially on doubles, finally taking it off. But now everyone's going to be focused on the big boy DK right there. Is he just as. No. What? Oh, he got, wait, he got saved by. Wait, see, did he just that's fall the... off and run off? I'm. I mean, he, he might have. Yeah. But like the fact that Jopon was able to recognize that in time and save his teammate, but he might get yo-yoed by Nuts, not quite oh, in the God. two friends. Okay, However, good, good, good. There goes Dan the Man's yeah, last that's up there with stop. Yoshi. That's definitely gonna take it. Listen, however, Pikachu is a very, very you know he's a character, and even though he is only at one stock, 98 percent, maybe he can kind of bring it back, taking out Pikachu's second of uh, last stock. If he does that, he'll be able to really bring it back. Absolutely, but you know, oh okay. I kind of was expecting the back air, but I know they have like these real. They have oh good synergy God. together. They no. have really good synergy. They have this. Yeah, see? There it is. You can tell there when a is. team is a team because he held him in a grab and Suarez came in, forward smash, and that was the end of, of PK, of, not PK Chris, of, um, of, oh my God, Jopon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, PK Chris and Suarez is not an uncommon duo. They've been dominating the mm -hmm. double scene in Tri State and Long Island. And now Xeno Saga, I know the last time I went to an encore, they definitely won doubles there. Yeah, they are a team, like you can tell when the team has just been made like that day, or when they've they're when they're seasoned like players and they play together constantly in doubles. Because they have some nasty setups right, that yeah, we saw yeah. earlier this in these they other have matches. Flavor. They they're have flavor. They have marinated salt and pepper and some paprika. Only salt and pepper and paprika? Sorry, do you have the, anything else? Where's the garlic? The garlic, the, the onion, rosemary, powder, the thyme. The, uh, uh, is it fresh thyme at least? Um, well, it has to be if they're well seasoned. Thank you. It butter, has to be fresh. Mm, gotta be, have like... The salted what's that, butter. What's that special butter when you add stuff to it? Um, Bro. Not condensed butter. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it's called. I just don't remember what it's called. I literally know what you're talking about. You I know only what, use clarified butter. butter. What the heck is clarified butter? You don't butter? know what clarified... Devin, do you know what clarified butter is? 
Mm. Huh? Mm. Clarified nah. butter. Well, okay, let me clarify. The I'm going to clarify how this next match is about to start with the same characters, and they're about to start right now, so I'm going to hear my no clarified butter. Town and City it is, and honestly, what I saw in the last game is just how much DK got hit by Yoshi up there. Oh, yeah. And now that you have some platforms there, it can kind of avoid it, and here we are, Bubblegum KK. This is another Tri-State Classic. It really is. Like, Bumblecum KK with TNT, yeah, absolutely, uh, tri State Classic. However, again, we have DK already, like, we have um, Joe Pond or, or Dandy Man. Gosh. Already got, got everything charged up, Rain to use it whenever he needs to take out the stocks that he uh, he knows he can take from... Let's say PK Chris, he's so light. Because Yoshi's such a heavier character than, than uh, Ness is. Yeah, and honestly, when you get... Um that Pikachu, I believe it's Pikachu back air where mm -hmm. um, he kind of spins. It catches up all the characters. And that, look, we just exactly saw um, sliding it down to that. Uh oh. Jopon doing an amazing stuff with Pika on uh, Chris on the set. He's, like, he's making it even for them too because they're both not like the same percentage. Oh, Jopon? No, he's, he's great. Jopon's great. He's just coming right back uh, and making sure he's not able to. Wow. Get that third stock taken from him, but it has been taken away. And just didn't. Wow. Dan and oh my gosh. Everyone's losing stock. Square is out here making sure, again, he's keeping his, uh, his thirst like, alive. Yeah, and honestly, Yoshi's a character that does not lose their stock there easily. Mm -mm. It's kind of low-key a tank. But honestly, uh, Jopon's doing so great just saving um, Dan from <laughs> all these moves. And especially when people want to attack them. But right now, Jopon has been kind of tossed around with PK Chris's up air. Yeah, right now, he's using that was, a Thunder. That was Take out PK's second stock. Great timing, great stacing for on, uh, on Jopon's part. Yeah, and now PK Chris is at a one stock deficit from everyone else. And Suarez, even if he loses his stock, rather than having that plus one stock, everyone's going to be playing with an equal amount of stocks once it gets to it. Mm hmm. Which hopefully he's had to come to that, to that like. Because he hasn't, he hasn't come to the point where he's restock and take him as a, his uh, teammate, you know? Right, Hopefully right. he'll hold on his own and he'll be able to kind of space himself out and use mostly PK Thunder, PK Fire in order to rack up more damage on his opponents rather than really being in the thick of it himself. Yeah, and honestly, Suarez is doing such a great job at just keeping um, Dan away from the stage and always pushing him away. And I feel like that's kind of their goal. They just don't want Dan to come back, whether it be through um, the Ness yo-yo or some sort of read that Yoshi has. And then we just saw PK Chris use back, there, back throw against Joe Cohen and taking out his second stock really easily. And now Yellow Team is now down to their one stock. And Suarez now at two stocks. He still has Finally. keeping that stock up for their team, just in case his teammate needs it, which is a great idea to have if that is, in fact, what he's trying to do at the same time as yeah. wrecking all this damage on the yellow team. And honestly, once you're at, like, three minutes into the game and you haven't taken out a stock from someone, that's a definitely... That's a red flag. You definitely need to catch that. But now that everyone is at one stock except for Suarez, like, as you said, it is a backup stock for everyone. It really is, but here we go. That restock coming in right in clutch. Maybe even to just like finish out this game. Because now that he has his one stock left, it's like he had four stocks in the first place, and he's just fine. And Swords, as we've seen, is great at keeping his stocks alive and completely just bypassing most of what Dan is trying to do to him and and Jopon. Or Jopon. And I... <gasps> oh, the oh, first oh, oh, no, oh, but no, that's recovery. not going to take it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the spacing that Suarez had at that moment was perfect. It fell right in between getting hit by PK Chris's um, back air and Pika. And no. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that's going to be winner's finals. Now we have, you know... Hold on. Okay. We have PK Chris and Suarez going over to Grands. And up next, we do have losers coming up. Of course, we have Noku and Gasty versus LA Ray Star and BMM. We're going to start off in losers in a few moments. But God, right now, we just see, like, again, Suarez and PK Chris, not the type to be messed with. They have their set, like, you know, um, their setups. They have their synergy. They have amazing vibes together. They know exactly what to do, and they use yeah, their advantage. Yeah, and honestly, they are always enjoying their time. Every time we cut to player cams, they're laughing, they're smiling. They really have energy for yes. each other, and I love seeing them That's play doubles together. Like, I love when people in doubles just kind of, like, laugh it off, and, like, because sometimes things just are just kind of goofy, and it's funny to just kind of laugh it off and be like, oh, that's doubles, you know? You know, singles is different. Yeah, singles, singles is, you only on. have yourself to blame. You literally do.